Hey there YouTube, I've got some of the, um, maybe quite interesting for some folk to have a look at. Oh, well, all I've got here is, just shut my phone down. All we got here is a, uh, I got my scope, just because I wanted to just check it out. Because I did a measurement, and um, what I did was I, I connected the negative just to you know house ground for this instance side of here or oh, I was actually putting it in just in there and um, I got this and I put it onto my antenna for my TV now I don't actually watch terrestrial you know, if I want to watch anything it's normally sciencey documentary type thing and that's I'm not going to find it on the TV so much but Unless you've got loads and loads of channels and I don't like having all those things because I don't see the point. But, I digress. I put this, my antenna hasn't been plugged in. Sorry about the camera, it's been all over the place, I'm just hitting my tripod. Um, I just get to this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that down there and hopefully I can get it to stay in place. Okay. And I'm going to get this meter. This part here, I'm just going to plug into where we'll do the ground connection there. And this is DC, this is AC. Now I'm just going to do it so I'm not actually touching anything. I'm going to do that there so I'm probably. A little bit of a weird connection here, I'm trying to get it to sort of hold itself in place, but now this put it today so it's a bigger bigger screen. So there we go, look. 8.6 volts, thereabouts, 49.91 hertz. Hmm. Now wouldn't that be interesting if it would light something? Let's say an LED. Well, I tried that because I thought if that would light an LED, that's a night light. So I got an LED. I just held that there, and we went to ground. Now, if you're just doing it here, I'm gonna see if I can just do it on the side of there. And as you can see, the LED lights. That's a blue LED. A three volter, but it's lighting up. This would be a much better thing to do at night, wouldn't it? So just bear with me because this camera's actually on top of my little tray of LEDs. Can we try a different colour? Let's try a white one, same voltage, and just see what it's like. Oh, and the reason why I got the scope, yeah, is because I wanted to see what it looked like on the scope. And that's what we got. Now, this is set to 50 volt per division, and it says there are in there 67.9 volts. But of course, that can't be right because that's a lot of voltage. Frequency 50 hertz, bang on. Voltage peak to peak is 206 volts. And of course, again, that can't be right, really. I mean, it could be, but it's not. As soon as you make a circuit, into it, it's going to bring it down. But and as you can see, by the way the LED works, um, you're not really going to get you know, masses of power out of it. So it'd be quite good if it lifts a little white light. No, oh, that's going to use a white. I'm trying to figure out which ones they are. That's the multi color Doesn't help that all the blue ones are white as well. They're clear. So I've got one here. So let's just see what it looks like this. So I don't think it really matters what side goes on to what because it's the AC signal. And of course it works like this because it works with pulse width, doesn't it? So um,
Maybe this one will be solid. No, it should be faulty. Let's try another one. Just grab another one. one of those. Oh, of course, we weren't actually going to ground, so that's not going to work. You've got to, definitely got to go to ground if you want it to work. Uh, and that's just like, you know, any, any sort of ground, so... Well, I don't mean any sort of ground, I mean earth ground. Where is that from? So again, look. So we've got the LED lights there. Where's that white one gone? I just chucked. Let's get that back. Because that would be a great one, wouldn't it? Because if you can have a... Oh, this is just a TV aerial. Just a regular common garden um, terrestrial TV aerial. I'm doing this all cack-handed now. Still plugging on that, aren't we? Okay, so the white does light. And depending on, I mean that's that's ideal. That's the night light. There's got a few of those on. I don't know. Good, you can see that's lighting, but I've seen other people making little circuits and getting a not as good an effect out of this. This is all I've got. This is just the TV antenna. Look, it's that's the thing that we've got in the back of the telly. It this could actually be another one on and uh it's not actually in use anymore because there's, there's a different tv era comes into the house now anyway regardless this wire still comes through the wall and it's connected to the old tv area that's just like flapping about up, up on the on the roof but you can get enough power between ground and this uh this wire to illuminate not that brightly of course, the truth, the, the idea would be nice to stick a few of them on, isn't it? See if you can get a couple, but is that just because there's a wire going up into the air? Because if there is, wouldn't it be worth sticking half a dozen wires up in the air and see what happens? <laughs> just, you know, out of curiosity, so let's try a yellow one. Let's try that. I think it should be white. Now, those, those white and the blue are 2.3 volts or something before they even start, so let's... Let's try this yellow one, I don't think this one needs as much voltage. Okay, it doesn't really... I mean, it does, I can see it lit up, but it's not, you know, it's not bright. It's nothing really worth, really worth, uh, I think the, the blue one lit up, you know, the best. I know I've got some bigger white ones, but... I mentioned that connection is pretty good as well. As so you can definitely see that the blue one lights up. Definitely. I don't know, guys. I reckon that's. Uh, it, <laughs> I, I think you know when you put zinc and copper into some soil and you get a little bit, get a bit excited because you can do a whole tray of those and get a get a bit of illumination but if it's just the wire going up into the air because that's all that aerial is isn't it okay so it's got some coax let's think about it we've got coax we've got a shield going around it and then you've got the uh, the inner and the, inner and the outer but there is definitely power that is definitely a little bit of power now it's not a lot granted it's not a lot but look i'll just take out the just i'll just put that on there yeah, that's the hit the uh, cord button or something. And then even on there, look. And that's uh, just going to ground. So it looks like you can have like little night lights. Just thought I'd share that anyway. I don't know if that's going to be of any interest to anybody of you to be playing around with and see what can be done with that. I'm definitely going to play a little bit more, but yeah. Definitely worth looking. Eight, around about eight and a half volts on here, and uh, sort of seventy volts on here. It's crazy. Cheers, watching.